Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 830, which is a hard level, where we have 40 moves to clear out 27 jelly. Now the jelly are down here, and the problem is we've got this double thick frosting preventing us from taking out these sticking time bombs, and trying to match them up isn't going to help much. I'm not going to be able to remove them all, and I can't populate this with any more candy because of this double layer frosting. So I figure I have three reasonable choices to attack this. The first is to get lucky. If I just, you know, am able to create maybe a color bomb striped candy on this board uh, automatically, then wonderful. That'll probably help me, especially if it's like an orange stripe. And then at least one of these is going to be horizontal. It'll take this out. And then I'll have time to work on everything else. Another way is to bring in boosters to help me. Um, because if I bring in boosters, like if I have a mini game and I bring in two color bombs and two stripes and two wraps and three extra moves, I'd likely be able to take care of at least this, if not everything, pretty quickly. And then the third way is to try to create some of my own luck without bringing in boosters. And that is to exit this game if I don't have a good setup and re-enter. I don't lose any lives. Now this actually works well even if I do bring in boosters. Like let's say I wanted to bring in these guys and I didn't want to start this unless I could get a color bomb striped candy combo. Well I could come in here and if the uh, specials are in a bad setup and here they are because they're down here and not connected to each other then I could just exit and come back in. I don't lose lives and I still don't lose the boosters. I still have 71 and 52 and I come back in and I keep waiting for these to be put next to each other. But I'm going to try this without boosters. For those folks who don't have access to boosters, I'm going to click these off and leave them here and my method is going to be just trying to get a really good setup. I don't see it here yet. It has to, for me, uh, be likely to lead to a color bomb and then I have to be able to match that color bomb with another special like a stripe so that's what I'm going to do even this where I could take out the red and then take out then the orange would be put here take out the orange I'd still have a blue and two purple and I would have only 10 moves left on the ticking time bombs to try to take out the rest so I'm just going to keep exiting and entering I'm going to pause the recording and I'll meet you back here when I have what I think is a good setup Okay, so I've got a stripe opportunity here. I'm going to try to convert it into a color bomb by trying to situate a blue here. And if I get two blues in a row, it's going to ruin the whole thing. Well, not ruin the whole thing, but it worked fortuitously. Now the thing is I need to set this up with a special, like a stripe, to really set this in motion. And I don't have that available to me yet. I see I can make a stripe that way. Ooh, this is better. But I needed something where I could set this next to each other and that one was going to end up over here. Now I've got three red over here. At least one of them, I would imagine, has to be horizontal to take all of these out. If at least one of these is horizontal, I'm done with worrying about the ticking time bombs. There we go. we got two horizontal, so I should actually get some nice progress, plus all of the red from up here help to open this area. So that's what you need to do in order to get the ball rolling. And now I still have all of this stuff that needs to be taken out. So I'm going to be looking for my opportunities to make specials along here and to activate the specials I have. Hmm. Let's make some more this way. And this is on a portal system, so now things will start to slide down. And I can see what's going to happen down here by what I have going on over here. Ooh, let's punch through this one right away. So now I'm populating this area, and when I do that, I give myself a better shot at making specials here. Now I'm going to take some of these specials and create them before I lose the opportunity. I know I said the horizontally striped candies don't work very well for me, but as I get this open, I'll be able to bring them lower. And now, see, I'm going to try to bust through here and bring this down where I have better play with it. I've got another color bomb there. But I'm going to take this nice striped wrapped combo right across all of that area. Okay, what's the next thing I can do? I can't move that over. If I had a purple here, I could move that over. These aren't really working out. Ah, but here we go. I don't have a lot of blue down here. And I don't know that I can get a lot of blue down here, but maybe. Actually, I've got two here. Uh, and so I'm going to do this now and hope at least one of these goes this way. There we go. We got one. 
so now we've cleared out an immense amount. See, it's just the ticking time bombs on the board that present the problem. Everything else is relatively simple after that. I'm going to make this color bomb, and let's do a raft here. Again, usually you think, well, why is she doing a raft way up there? Well, I can try to bring it down lower so that it works in this area. I don't even need it, though. This is all I need to do. I don't need to make any more color bombs. I've got three stars, so I don't even need the color bombs to get extra stars. So that's how I beat this level, by re-entering the board repeatedly until I get the setup that I want. If you'd like to see more videos, you can subscribe. If you have any questions, put those in the comment section. For those who are interested, uh, this was my third playthrough for recording purposes, and as always, thanks for watching.